hi, welcome back to my bathroom. <laughs> I know you're probably like, Bev, why can't you ever put on makeup or like shower before you do a video? But this oily buildup is actually the reason that I am doing this in the first place. So, um, since coming to Florida, my hair has definitely been a lot more oily than I am happy with. So I have hair that is naturally oily anyway, but this is like getting extreme. So I went to um, the hairdresser and they recommended these products, which I've been using. But these products are extremely, they're really toxic. And I think that this is in a way that I didn't really realize. So I'm looking to kick out the different toxic products that I have. So first I wanna tell you about these products and I printed off these screenshots from the Think Dirty app because this product right here, this is the shampoo, has these chemicals in them that are absolutely known to be dangerous. And I wanted to read to you about them in case you're like, well, why are you trying to swap out products anyway? So this first one, um, and I'm not gonna to try to pronounce these, you guys, this first one right here, it's a paraben. And paraben, parabens in general are known to cause um, reproductive health issues and are uh, they can actually be found in breast cancer and things like that. But there's a bunch of different kinds of parabens. And look, paraben, 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 paraben. This one has a bunch of them in it, which is amazing that it would even be safe and on the market. And I think it's safe and on the market because you're not actually drinking it, but exposing your body to it, parabens are actually found in your bloodstream. They're found in urine. They are found in breast milk. And they've even been known to be found in the umbilical cord fluid traveling between a mother and her baby, which is really scary. So this first one um, is right here. This is the print off right from the app, you know. And it says that it's known to cause reproductive health interference. It's also an endocrine disruptor and it's a possible carcinogen, which is, I think is a little crazy. So then the next few parabens um, is actually, these are outlawed in the European Union. So it's actually a prohibited, prohibited ingredient. You can go get this product and it doesn't contain these parabens that are actually outlawed in the EU, but are allowed in the US, which I think is crazy. So it's possible reproductive toxicity, skin irritation, endocrine disruptor, and then it, it was also found in the breast cancer tumors of 19 out of 20 women in 2004. So that's a study that you can look up and I think that's really uh, scary. Um, and then also this one right here, this particular paraben, right? Um, it's an endocrine disruptor as well, but uh, breast cancer will actually show, um, the tumors will actually show a buildup of this particular paraben as well. And um, it is restricted in the EU and it's also found in breast tissue. So this particular paraben will build up in breast tissue, yet it's sitting around right here in my shampoo with people going, oh, expose yourself to this every day. Like it's kind of ridiculous, right? So then when you just get to the fragrance, the fragrance is this guy right here, okay? So the fragrant ingredient um, has been known to have allergic reactions, but it's also been known to be a carcinogen. So I'm like, what the heck? Like right here in Bailey shampoo that you're buying off the shelf because I don't want my hair to be as oily as all this. Look at the gray. We're addressing the gray later, you guys. If you haven't found my 90 days to, you know, get rid of gray challenge, we're gonna see if we can get those to go away naturally. But, you know, that's a different video. Um, I'll put that one up here when it's ready. Okay, so anyway, so it's a possible carcinogen. So we're looking at reproductive health issues. We're looking at potential breast cancer, tumors, all sorts of weird stuff in here. And this is like by science. Like it's not by, I don't know, anything weird, I think. And so it's a little scary what they allow into our shampoos. So, um, so I've asked around and I've asked a few people what I should try. Um, to get the kind of clarifying, I mean, the upsides to, you know, my chemical shampoo is that it would definitely cut out all of this oil, okay? So what I'm trying today is the lavender mint shampoo with a little bit of lemongrass. And so I will pop back on and tell you guys how it goes. Um, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna end up washing my hair twice, but that is what would usually happen with this anyway. And then of course, this also has a conditioner. I looked up this conditioner too, and this conditioner actually doesn't have the parabens in it, but it still has that carcinogen causing 
uh, perfume in it. So um, I'm gonna be using the lavender mint, um, you know, there's the shampoo and there's the conditioner, and I'm gonna be using both of those and popping a little bit of lemongrass into the shampoo to see if I can get the same clarifying effects but without all of the weird chemicals. So I will be so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna tell you that it actually really does have the same feel as if I used the clarifying um, shampoo right now. So um, the oil I can feel is gone. We're gonna dry it out because when it's dry, that's gonna tell you um, a lot more about it. And then I actually didn't use the conditioner because I felt like I don't know, it feels soft to me, but I will say that I do usually use my little Mira um, hair oil. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. Um, I just put a couple of drops here, I'll show you. Do do like that into the palm of my hand. And I'm gonna put this at the ends, which is what I did when I was using the clarifying conditioner anyway. Um, and then if you're like, oh my gosh, Bev, your skin looks so much better. Like I do have a skincare video. I did my skincare routine. And so I'll put that up here as well um, in case you're wanting to know about that. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of moisturizer. This is my favorite one. This is the Bloom. I know it seems odd that it's so many products, but don't we just use a lot of products? Like, isn't that the way it goes? I also believe that whatever it is that you do to your face, you have to do to your hands. So, so anyway, okay, so I'm going to dry out my hair and um, we'll be right back to inspect that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's almost dry. It's still a little bit wet. And I have to say that I'm like amazingly pleasantly surprised by how well this worked. So if you can see, it just looks so healthy and like it has a really nice healthy kind of a glow to it, which I really wasn't expecting. So what I did is I took the shampoo and I put my normal amount of shampoo like right into my hand and then I dropped two drops of lemongrass into it and I put it in my hair and I didn't leave it. Like the first time I washed it through, I didn't let it sit there. I did end up washing it twice, which was kind of my prediction because that's kind of how I roll, but it doesn't foam up. Um, so because it doesn't have this ingredient in it, this sodium lauryl sulfate right here is not in the Young Living Lavender Mint Shampoo, which is the one that I used. So it's not gonna foam and bubble, but uh, so I put it in there and I rinsed it out. And then when I washed it again, I put the amount in there, I put in the two drops and then I let it sit on my head while I scrubbed my face and did the other things that, you know, you do in the shower, you know, wash your body, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't let it sit there like a ridiculously long time. Like, it's not like I had it on there for 10 minutes or something, and then I rinsed it out. So initially I was thinking that it still felt too heavy and I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna like the end result, but um, I added, I showed you, you know, I added the Mira hair oil a little bit at the ends to make sure that the ends, you know, stayed nice and moisturized. And so that product, I think, might be, I mean, I didn't put it on my scalp, but I mean, I have to say, I am super happy with how my hair turned out and what it looks like. And you know what? It was done completely without chemicals, which is what I really love. So it's, you know, chemicals, they have, I should say toxic chemicals, <laughs> they do have their upsides. Like, you know, the upside is cutting out the oil, but if you can achieve the exact same result, and not expose yourself to all of these other different toxins, why not? Like, why not have a great hair care product that is like, shh, you don't have to worry about what you're exposing yourself or your kids to. So um, anyway, there you go. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe. I have a lot of other videos that I'm doing just trying to kick the chemicals out of my house, put in something that's a lot more natural. So feel free to hit the little announcement button if you would like to know when I do my next video. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful and a beautiful day.